What did Jackie Kennedy sneak into the kitchen to eat right out of the container? Jackie Kennedy spent her whole life trying to keep private. Keep watching to learn more about the glamorous First Lady's secret eating habits. One staple of Jackie Kennedy's diet was baked potatoes. In fact, she enjoyed them so much, sometimes the only thing she'd eat in a 24-hour period would be baked potatoes topped with caviar, a treat for the wealthy for sure. And while she would indulge occasionally in more filling meals, she made sure more calorie-laden ingredients were omitted. For example, she loved risotto, but minus the cheese, which can often make that dish a bit dry. According to Tish Baldridge, a White House staffer during the Kennedy administration, the First Lady aimed to stay at 120 pounds. Baldridge also said that she watched the scale with the rigor of a diamond merchant counting his carrots. If she saw herself gaining, a crash diet of fruit would usually follow. While Jackie Kennedy watched her diet very carefully while still married to John F. Kennedy, she wasn't keen on a regimented fitness routine and definitely didn't like walking, according to the Palm Beach Daily News. The outlet obtained a report from a dermatologist she visited prior to a summer vacation at the Kennedy Family Compound in Hyannisport, Massachusetts. The report shows that she grew bored by walking, but had promised she would get some fresh air in the summer of 1963 by taking a few walks out by the golf course in the area. She also stayed away from sweet treat indulgences as much as she could, with fruit seeming to be her main source of sugar. She reportedly told Dr. Erno Laszlo, I eat an apple once in a while when I have lunch with the kids. In terms of alcohol, champagne seemed to be the one drink she enjoyed the most. However, she seemed to be concerned about her complexion, and the doctor's notes specified that she would be careful of the burning sun. Laszlo wrote in his notes, she said she will stay out of the sun while on the cape and always will wear a hat. One thing that was hard not to notice about Jackie Kennedy was her svelte figure. According to the book Jackie's Girl, My Life with the Kennedy Family, author Kathy McKeon, who used to work for the Kennedys, wrote that Jackie ate extremely light meals, like boiled eggs, cottage cheese, fresh fruit, salad, chicken, and veggies. McKeon claimed that after her husband was killed, Jackie didn't seem to want to eat much at all, writing, She never had much of an appetite, and the toll of the horror she survived was plain to see on her painfully thin frame. However, by 1968, when Kennedy married Greek shipping magnate Aristotle Onassis, she decided she was ready to indulge a bit and enjoyed cocktail hours at home before heading out for the evening. Her other indulgences, however, occurred when most people couldn't see. After all, she had to retain that image she projected to the world. McKeon wrote, Sometimes we'd crash into each other at night in the kitchen pantry. She didn't put on the light because she didn't want anyone to know she was in there. One time, McKeon even found her indulging in one of the world's most popular classic desserts, exclaiming she was eating ice cream out of the container with a big spoon. Not a teaspoon, but a big spoon. If you are struggling with an eating disorder or know someone who is, help is available. Visit the National Eating Disorders Association website or contact Nita's live helpline at 1-800-931-2237. 2237. You can also receive 24-7 crisis support via text. Send NIDA to 741-741.